All right, ladies and gentlemen, you might want to put your kids to bed, hide your wives, because report Microsoft may sell Xbox if Activision merger fails. Damn, okay. Now for for a second, okay, we gotta we gotta pump the brakes real quick. There is no universe in no universe I can see Xbox selling out. There is just no way in a million years this gonna happen. But guys, let me show you this. This is rightfully getting dislike bombed, and this. <laughs> This is so wild. Never have I thought that I, I will be waking up today and finding out about this one. We got a video to roll as well, guys. But VGC News, Andy Robinson says, I know a lot of industry pundits think Microsoft selling off Xbox is a genuine possibility should this be blocked. And you guys want to know what happened with this story. And for those of you that do not know, Andy Robinson works behind VGC. Oh, shit. VGC is actually a good source, okay? I I know this is now happening. I, I know y'all 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 just cannot believe this one. I know this Stupid. is like I, I totally understand, but VGC is a good source, and this news is coming from Andy Andy Robinson, and this is what he's saying, guys. And not only that, he privatized his Twitter account oh my God. because I I know for the fact that some of the the taxi gamers the gamers were most likely sending him heaven proposals after the story because gamers, I mean gamers, right? But guys, listen. On, okay, whether you play on Sony ponies, whether you play on Xbox, Nintendo, PC Masters, this should not happen. Okay, drop a thumbs up if you think it's it's impossible. Uh, drop a thumbs up if this should never happen because I can tell you this for the fact. Okay, if this ever happens, it's not gonna happen. Okay, I don't believe it. I don't believe it. But if this ever were to happen, Sony would be doing helicopters with their release. They would be raising their online prices to two hundred dollars a month. Okay, obviously that's a yeah. hypothetical, but my point here is that Sony needs competition, Microsoft needs competition, vice versa. If Sony were to shut down, if PlayStation were to shut down, Microsoft would have been taking advantage of the entire situation. They would have been upping the game prices and this would have been bad for the gamers, okay? Vice versa, so we do not want to see this happen. But guys, the, the, the fact of the matter here is that Andy Robinson came out and he says that regardless of Spencer's word, I know a lot of industry pundits think Microsoft selling off Xbox. Is that genuine possibility? Oh, shit. Oh, he is persist. He is persisting with the story, and the story is so wild. Let me go, let me show you this video. Roll this it. is seriously going to be the most insane video I have ever talked about. Of course, a major gaming journalist is claiming that apparently Microsoft is kicking around the idea of possibly selling off Xbox. Now, I completely disagree with this. In fact, it seems entirely impossible. How yeah. could Xbox even have a price tag on it? The entirety of the Xbox brand is probably worth easily hundreds of billions of dollars. But I want to take a look at this journalist's statements, what sort of led to this, and a lot of the backlash yeah, he's already receiving out, for his rather Man, gamers are going wild, man. They got the big homie Andy, Andy Robinson. Oh my god! I'm shaking, I'm shaking, I'm shaking. shaking. I'm shaking. Range statements. Let's get into that. What's up, Gabriel? Dreamcast guy here. <laughs> I hope you're having a great day. If you I don't know, man. I don't think Andy's having a good day today, boys. You can like this Bruh. video and subscribe if you haven't already. Guys, I will be live streaming very soon. Hit the bell and drop a thumbs up. What sort of kicked this off this morning was this big article dropped by the Video Game Chronicle, mm. VGC News, where Phil Spencer apparently said Xbox will exist even if the Activision acquisition ends up being blocked. According to Spencer, this is not some linchpin to the long term. Now, I decided to go through this article, and you'll notice oh, wow. this is written by Andy Robinson. Keep that name in mind. We're going to come back to it. Here. This entire thing here is a bit of a transcription to statements he gave to a newspaper called The Times. And he said, this is an important acquisition for us, but it's not some linchpin. He's basically- Yo guys, like if this were actually happens, it's not gonna happen, okay? Let's keep about 50. We're talking about Microsoft. They're not hurting for money, damn it. They got trillions and trillions of dollars. They are not hurting for money. But man, this is so wild. This is absolutely insane. Let's just, okay, let's just discuss the, the, the hypothetical of this scenario, guys. The, the fact of the matter here is that this is, I don't know who those industry pundits are, right? But Andy's saying that some of the insiders are telling him that this is a possibility and they're thinking behind the scenes that if Xbox does not get Activision, they're gonna sell Bruh. themselves out, okay? At this point, just give them Activision, okay? Give, and I've been saying this for a while, bro. Just either block the deal or completely let them have it because I'm sick and tired of talking about it. Uh, I, I cannot be like the homie Destin. Destin has been talking Bruh. about it. 
very uh, he's a good channel i d definitely recommend you guys subscribing it's almost gonna hit hundred thousand subscribers but listen man this deal needs to go through right now damn it but the the thought the possibility of this actually shutting down because uh activision deal might not go through it's just wild man like this is all happening because of call of duty and y'all bozos y'all bimbos uh constantly say that call of duty's trash this and that i'll never buy it they know we dumbasses we always buy the game they know this is why Act Microsoft is fighting for Call of Duty Activision and this is why Sony is trying to fight and they're trying to make sure that this deal doesn't go through but damn son this is truly insane bro. Please saying uh if we get the ability to make Call of Duty exclusive eventually if we can make Blizzard games exclusive and put World of Warcraft on Game Pass that will clearly be a very big value boost to Xbox. <laughs> I don't think anybody can deny the fact that having so much of Activision Blizzard games on Game Pass is going yeah. to boost those numbers to record-breaking levels. But they're basically saying this will not kill us. If the deal doesn't go through, of course. Xbox will still exist. Guys, 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 here's the thing, right? Xbox was fine without having Activision before they even bought it, right? They were fine. Now they're extra fine because they got that Starfield coming out. They got other games as well. They they also had one of those games that actually blew up recently. I, it's not getting up to in my mind right now. I cannot think of that name. But but that game, a lot of people saw that and it was trending over on Twitter. It's one of those indie Xbox titles that actually blew up, which is actually wild to see. So they're more than fine. They're killing it. They got Microsoft behind it with trillions of dollars. They're fine though. Now I must admit that on its own, this is a very very bizarre statement. I can't imagine like Shuhei you Yoshida or somebody up at PlayStation talking about what needs to happen for PlayStation to exist. Yeah. So the head of Xbox talking about Xbox continues to exist. Very weird. Damn, he basically, son. though, in the statement, he's really talking about the fact that he feels like buying this will be. We are strong, strong, independent. Competition is us trying to get stronger. Spencer told the Times, and absolutely. But the thing that's so crazy here is that. Uh, this news broke right that there's a possibility that Xbox can actually sell this this is just wild to me that quickly after Phil Spencer went on record and said that guys like okay we're, we're gonna still exist <laughs> we're gonna we're gonna still exist that that is truly insane and, and right now a lot of people are like yo so does that mean that you guys were really thinking about it you guys were really thinking and this is just like you guys comforting us I don't know what's uh, happening behind the scenes, guys. A good competition. He's still trying to talk about why them having this will be better for everybody. Nintendo, GeForce Now, Sony, everybody's going to win if they get Activision Blizzard. Okay, it's standard milk toast Phil Spencer talks. But then, after this article Bruh. got published, the original writer of it, Andy Robinson, dropped this very, very baffling oh, bombshell. Regardless oh, of Phil Spencer. <laughs> Man, this is so crazy. I mean, I mean let me do this. I am okay because he was not, he didn't have his, his account privatized, but now that I, as I check it, it is uh, privatized. I mean, damn, that is insane to me, bro. Serious words. I know a lot of industry pundits think Microsoft selling off Xbox is a genuine possibility if this deal is blocked. Bruh. What? <laughs> Legitimately, this is, I mean, I'm saying this with pure seriousness here. A lot of my subscribers know I uh, i cover a lot of gaming news. I have never seen anything so utterly, I mean, jaw-droppingly stunning as to hear that anybody would think there is a genuine possibility of Microsoft selling off Xbox. I mean, I'll be straight up. I don't think it's possible. I, I mean, the size of Microsoft, the number of studios, the number yeah. of games, the number of yeah. employees, the number of developers. I mean, trying to sell off such, I mean, thousands and thousands of people's True. contracts and ongoing projects and raw code. I mean, trying to sell Xbox would probably be hundreds of billions it, 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 listen it is near impossible now that that's a good point right i i know a lot of people say that dreamcast guys sony pony sony pony this and that and yeah he he has a bias towards sony pony listen i play on sony ponies as well but facts are facts sir guys like uh, uh, sony needs microsoft competition microsoft needs sony competition nintendo they're kind of playing their own league the the entire reason i'm saying sony needs microsoft is because bro like they are after that call of duty bro like they sony is making sure that xbox don't get microsoft don't get activision Bruh. don't get call of duty so microsoft needs call of duty 
Sony needs Call of Duty, and Activision is just ready to sell. A A Activision genuinely want to sell their company. This is why the higher-up executives there are memeing. Apparently, Lulu was going off the royals and started, like, memeing about Sony and uh, Shiza like that. So, uh, this is actually, actually crazy, man. Like, this should not happen, bro. That That's gonna be insane, bro. ...of dollars. I, I don't know anybody who could even buy that. And the people who could buy it are the people I don't want to own Xbox. People like... L let's think about this. Let's think, think about this for a second. If this actually were to happen, right? Who can buy Xbox? We all know Sony cannot buy it, Bruh. right? Uh, it's a uh, Google can, but do you really want Google? Google has been with the Sony, so Google is tag teaming with Sony. They're saying that this deal should not go through. Uh, Xbox is tag teaming with Nvidia, saying that this deal should go through. So, uh, yeah, both Microsoft, uh, Microsoft got their teams, they got their allies, Sony got their allies. Both of them are trying their absolute best. And guys, listen, at the end of the day, Sony is doing their job. It's in their best interest that this deal doesn't go through. And it's in the best interest of Microsoft for this deal going through. So both of them are doing their parts. It's completely just pointless getting mad over these trillion dollars and billion dollar companies, okay? Because in return, we're not gaining anything, guys. Maybe, yeah, 10 years later, Xbox gets Call of Duty and they make it Call of Call of Duty exclusive like 10 years later. Then, yeah, if you're an Xbox gamer, you have that advantage, right? That, that's basically the only thing. Bruh. Other than that, you're not making that cheddar, you're not making that money, all of a sudden you're not gonna be good in bed, all of a sudden you're not gonna have a bigger Johnson, guys. It doesn't work like that. I guess you Bruh. know that. You know that. I know that. We all know that. Let's uh, just talk about facts here, guys. But who can realistically buy? We have Tencent. Uh, do we really want to see Tencent buying that? Who else? Amazon? Amazon can realistically, but do I really want Amazon buying? Nah. Who else though? Who else? said might be able to afford this or maybe Embracer Group. I don't know, but oh, I don't want them to man. buy. Yo, I, I don't want Embracer Group, bro. Like, no, no, no. Xbox. That would be so weird. No, no, but no, 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 no. the tweet replies to this are people absolutely out for blood like yeah, here's tom yeah, warren yeah. obviously a big uh, xbox journalist not sure yeah. who these industry pundits are <laughs> but they're clearly clueless you don't strategically acquire mo yang and bethesda and form a microsoft gaming division True. if you're going to sell off that xbox business if your giant 69 billion dollar deal goes doesn't go through now i disagree with tom warren quite a bit but i feel like right here this Brrr. is a brilliant point why would they buy mo yang and bethesda Right, that, that right there is like billions and billions of dollars spent. So them trying to invest in their company's future only to immediately backtrack it, it just seems completely impossible. And here is Andy's very controversial reply to the idea Wrong. of this acquisition Ow. not happening. Everybody, this everybody gather on, okay? Gather on. Guys, it is going down. Get your fat doobies around, clench your butt cheeks, and with the power of boom, oh God. let's get into it. ...of Microsoft. Here it is. Capitalism has proven time and again that conventional logic really doesn't matter if the graph doesn't point up enough. I don't expect it to happen, but I can say with authority that some important people do think that Xbox might be sold. Now, this what? is actually a very specific... What? I don't expect it to, but... I can say with authority? Oh, oh shit! Oh, Who's shit. authority we're talking about? Yo, bruh, like, let me get this here. I don't expect it to happen, but I can say with, with authority that some important people do. Stupid! Stupid! Okay, he's saying that some people, uh, important people, I mean, important people, Bruh. that 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 tells us that they're not important, let's be real. Specific line. Uh, uh, this is a very specific joke inside uh, a lot of tech business right now, which is that companies are weird about profits, about stock prices. If your stock price goes down too much, then technically your company is losing billions of dollars in value even as their actual products increase. It's a weird conundrum. And for the most part, Microsoft is heavily focused on their stock prices. Yeah, the Xbox yeah. brand doesn't- Everybody is, everybody is, let's be real. Nobody wanna see like their stock plummeting 50%, 100%. Nobody wanna see that, bro. Like it just don't, don't work like that. It don't work like that. Just actually work. make that much. They're profitable, but they're not as profitable as Sony or Nintendo. They're way, way, way Damn. behind when it comes to raw dollars earned. This isn't an insult. It's just basic math. Okay, but and then Microsoft, okay, let, let's keep a buck 50 here, okay? Before, before people get uh, offended out here, because I know, man, like people have been sending like having proposals to the homie Andy because uh, the guy, god damn, okay. <laughs> 
<laughs> you do not privatize your account that way. He must be getting some serious heat for him to do that. But let's keep a buck 50 here, guys. Microsoft is bigger than Sony. These are just facts, okay? Sony got their movies, their TV business, other stuff here. They like to do helicopters with their release. They also got PlayStation. But PlayStation is bigger than Xbox currently, okay? These are facts, okay? I'm not trying to pick sides here, guys. Uh, I do play on the Sony ponies, but guys, I'll keep a, a buck 50 with y'all, okay? It, it's plastic. Both of them are plastics, okay? God damn. I mean, just pick a console and play what you like. It's it, There are bigger problems than uh, Sony and uh, Xbox in the world, okay? But facts are facts. Uh, Xbox is smaller. Currently, they're trying to be they're trying to be strong and independent. This is why they're buying Activision, right? Uh, but damn, son. This but is... a major thing that makes Microsoft still so solvent is the fact that their profits make their stock price skyrocket. I guess their thought is that if this $69 billion Call of Duty acquisition gets deadlocked, if it gets blocked, that will hurt their stock. Maybe to the tune of tens of billions of dollars. Maybe it this will. It will. If the deal doesn't go through, you can guarantee that Activision stock will go down a little bit. Maybe a lot. Microsoft stock will not go down like crazy, but it will certainly go down. Activision, on the other hand, their stock can go down massively because previously, if I'm not mistaken, correct me if I'm wrong, but it was somewhere around like. Uh, 40 or 50 bucks and the second the news because uh, obviously we had the California lawsuit it hit right and Activision was really down bad uh, mother truckers those bozos they were installing cameras in public bathrooms at Activision trying to record ba baddies out there they also were uh, stealing baddies milk out there like that uh, the, the dead ass were doing that okay uh, so they were spanking their female employees, this and that, and there was a massive California lawsuit and Activision stock value plummeted, I believe somewhere around 40, and it used to be like 70, 80, and then Phil Spencer came out of nowhere, he said that, guys, we need, uh, I'm devastated to hear this news, this should be better, I have spoke with Bobby Kotick's out there, and next week we know, they bought it, they bought it, they ended up buying Activision after a week so that was the plan of uh, Phil Spencer to correct Activision and then their stocks uh, started rising up and it went up to I uh, almost 80 bucks and right now if I'm not mistaken last time I checked it was somewhere around like 70 something I'm gonna do it live right now so we're gonna go over on this one that's the Tesla stock. I mean, Tesla stock, it was at 100. God damn, okay? So that my def that's uh, the default one I have it on. But let's check this out, okay? So actually, yeah, 76, 76. So if this uh, deal doesn't go through, it's gonna fall. You can see the California lawsuit hit November 20th. Uh, no, the, the, the lawsuit was somewhere around here. Yeah, 46. And uh, yeah, man, they had that. So basically, if this doesn't go through, they're gonna see a hit. And it's going to be interesting for sure. Some sort of weird mentality that maybe if they sell it, they won't lose as much. But a lot of people are saying this. You cannot be taken seriously when you're saying that these pundits and then hide them from secrecy and don't say who they are. Tim Dog, you kind of write in these weird, like a little, little bit of gibberish here, Tim Dog. If you believe it and that's your Bruh. opinion, stand behind it and give it. Otherwise, don't bring up bullshit and stuff you can't <laughs> prove or validate. Come on, Andy. Bruh. Now, Andy did decide to retweet that and say, that's how anonymous sources work, mate. Now, that is correct. Um, I actually respect the fact that uh, journalists talk to a lot of anonymous sources, people yeah. that are able to verify their identity, that's that talk true, under true. the uh, space of anonymity to get out interesting ideas. But in this case, I think it's interesting how many people are just straight up like, bro, there is no way. There is no way. There is no but going way. back to that original tweet, almost everybody is vehemently disagreeing. There is zero possibility of them selling Xbox during Satya and Phil's tenure. After that, who knows? I know a lot of pundits that think this is misleading and seems like an attempt at misinformation. You see this as a lot more sensational than cable news. Some people are wondering. Yeah, so every person absolutely silly to even suggest that they would sell off Xbox. Internet pundits have been saying since 2013, 2013 that Xbox will get sold off and yet it'll never be shut down. Like every person is yeah. straight up just saying, hell. But I wonder, like, here's the thing. VGC is a good source, though. 
right? They have been leaking Call of Duty stuff for a very long time, and some of the stuff that people thought would be wrong, wrong. that turned out legit as well. But those are like video game leaks. This is just insane. This is uh, way beyond video game leaks. I guess uh, y'all understand that, right? Uh, selling Xbox, damn son, that is that is insane. But what are the sources? What are the sources? He says that anonymous sources, and he says that uh, I can give you authority that those are important people that are talking behind the scenes that it can be sold. I want to know your thoughts on guys. Recently, we had that GTA 6 gameplay demo, tech demo. Check this video out or click the video on the left because things actually got leaked out. Check these videos out, guys. They don't want you seeing that, and I will see you right.